be anything from family nights around the telly to the series or event that brought you together as a couple. Maybe the Batman and Robin scene from Only Fools and Horses, which still has me in absolute stitches, mm -hmm. by the way. Love or perhaps it. it was that nail-biting unmasking of H. BC.co.uk. Right, we were just talking about curry, weren't we? Uh, but in today's news, industry experts have revealed that the local chippy could be facing not the extinction. Chippy. Not the chippy yep. as well, no. Uh, due to the rising costs, and it is not uh, the only British institution that's under threat. Yeah, you may have noticed this summer that the price of a day out has also been creeping up. It could soon be taking the fun out of the fun fair, as Dom Littlewood has been finding out. No great British summer is complete without a trip to the fairground. The screams on the waltzes and the sweet smell of candy floss make it a great day out for everybody. But this iconic British pastime could be under threat as rising costs means that for many fun fairs, keeping the show on the road is now tougher than ever. Some of these rides date back as far as the 1890s. The Carter family bought their first vintage steam ride 45 years ago and have been entertaining the nation ever since. But the cost of living crisis has forced owner Joby to make the tough decision to shut down the family business. We started travelling in 1977 when I was just a, a toddler. I started full time when the minute I left school, so I've not known anything else. Give me an idea about some of the costs that have gone up that are causing you problems. The fuel has gone up. We've got 16 lorries on the road. We want electricity, we have to put the generator on. So everything has gone up. It's not just the price of diesel which has rocketed. I've got to say, it feels like we're on a date. Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? I do, I do prefer people with more hair, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Right, let's bring the tone down a little bit. Running costs. Give me an idea of what it was like a few years ago compared to now. Only this time last year we were paying about £8 for a bag of coal. Yes. We used about 10 bags on both, steam, both our steam engines yep. in a day. And now we're paying over £13 for one bag of coal. Ooh, OK. What else? Insurance has gone up astronomically. Labour, the, the minimum wage has gone up. So it's past that point where it's time to make a change. The Hooker Duck, a fun fair favourite enjoyed by kids and big kids alike, partly because you're guaranteed a prize every time. Ah! A three pound a pop, it's not cheap, but that's because these prizes used to cost around 65 pence to buy in. Now they're double that. And the rising cost of food has become an issue for Joby's sister Rosie and her husband Dave's pockets, who run the donut and candy floss stalls here. Tell me about the increases. The, the oil went from about £16 for 20 litres up to £35 to £40, depending on location. Wow. The donut mixture has gone up in price. The cost of sugar has gone up. Tell me about your price increases as a result of everything going up. The donuts have gone up by 20p each. Candy floss has gone up by 50p. We try our best to keep yeah. it as low as we can for as long, really, haven't we? Yeah. Last year, it would have cost Joby and his team £45,000 to travel and stay at this location for three weeks. He estimates that this year it will cost nearly £20,000 more. On average, household bills have risen by £600 in the last year and prices are set to rise even more. So how are the visitors here feeling about the squeeze? Well, they tend to come with the grandchildren now to try and limit things because of the cost. How are you limiting things now? Number of rides. Will the cost of the rides actually limit how many you will go on today? Yeah, it will definitely. We're probably going to do two or three rides today. That's probably about what we're going to be able to afford to do, yeah. You've been coming here for a long, long time. How will you feel when it's not here next year? Gutted. Gen genuinely gutted. Yeah, going to miss it. Joby and his family had hoped to keep the fun fair running for future generations, but soon their beloved vintage rides will entertain visitors no more. When the gate finally shuts in October, what do you think you'll do on that final day? Oh, that'd be a mess. It's more than just a job, it's a lifestyle, yeah. We, we, we love it, don't we? It's the um, end of an era. It's more than just a collection of rides. We're hoping to take our living wagon and actually turn it into a B&B. So, the magic will be kept alive, but in a different fashion. All good things come to an end. I am very optimistic about the future. Oh, we love a fun fair. We've got to do what we, we can to keep those places yeah. going, haven't we? Love
love them. It's good amazing. to take kids to. Exactly that. Yeah. Exactly that. Uh, now, there are so many connections on this sofa tonight. <laughs>